Welcome everybody uh, to the the camel is slapping a lot of stones episode. Welcome to the next episode of the Winter Dome. Yeah, first of all, uh, great thanks and and many many thanks to all of you in the last episode because that was huge. Everyone was really excited about the Winter Dome. So am I. So don't get me wrong. It's um, it's it's just insane how how many comments you guys uh, put in there and just please keep it up. Uh, keep giving me the feedback. I will uh, try to sit down and answer as much as possible um, of those things. Uh, it's it's getting nuts at the moment, so it's really cool. I really enjoyed this um, to really browse through all the questions and all through the you know uh, wonderful feedback. And um, I'm also glad I caught all of you napping, so to say, uh, while I was mentioning this little uh, you know skip thing. Funny enough, um, I I did this according to my own habit of watching videos. So, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely not mad about people skipping the video. I know that's just the minority watching the video in its entirety, and that's totally fine. Hell, I not I'm not even doing that myself, um, barely even. Like there are a few videos I do for work, especially or um, some stuff I'm just generally very interested in, or stuff that is potentially also shorter than 10 minutes. Um, simply because I do know how the habit is, uh, you know, over the course of one day um, and in the evening, and especially with the hype of Planet Zoo, there's so much to catch up to um, I, I can I can definitely understand that this is something uh, yeah really really hard however uh, this time I want to uh, address one feedback in particular um, a few people uh, not too many but a few and you know every opinion every little bit uh, of, of feedback is very um, valuable for me and I am not going to ignore that but there was some feedback um, Especially for the people that are new to the channel, which is awesome. Welcome to all of you recently. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you. But there were some people uh, mentioning that I might just do a script for a video um, and calm down a little bit because it's hard to follow or um, uh, because it's you know a bit weird or a bit confusing what I say. Um, I, I don't even want to say anything against that. Uh, sometimes I listen to my videos. I'm like, what the hell am I even talking about? However. One thing I want to make completely obvious and completely clear, I will never ever do a script. I absolutely hate the content myself. I cannot stand any videos that are scripted. Um, I'm I, 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 I'm just, <laughs> it's really hard to find the words for it. Not because of the language, just because I'm, from, from my inner um, belief, I think I would never be able to give you the content that I hope to give you, uh, honest content, um, my honest hype, my honest feelings, my honest um, opinion and also just myself, you know, being myself. It's really important to me that I do transport this, with, with, you know, throughout the video. And I, I cannot do this if I have like a script or whatever. So, um, you know, while I'm doing a little bit of adjusting of the habits, uh, habitats in the background and um, I don't even need to talk too much about it because it's it was a bit finicky to finally get this done, but I will explain this in one of the next episodes when I do this in the real time part. It's a little bit too hard to do this in the time lapse, but I wanted to include this so you guys see what I was doing. However, while this uh, footage is still there, and we are not yet there where I need to explain things. I, I definitely want to explain a little bit why I am pretty convinced that I have to do it the way I do it and also the commentaries in general. Sometimes I do take some notes when I have special topics to talk about, but my, my inner belief and really it's it's I am totally convinced about this. I do not like the content myself because it always feels very unnatural to me. It always feels like um, having a plan to you know catch the most attention of people maybe at the cost of your own personality and I've met a few people in the last couple of years um, that I would have expected to be completely different and uh, sometimes in a good way sometimes in a in a weird way sometimes in a confusing way sometimes in a bad way I think it's that kind of way but when there's one thing in particular most likely people that you do know from twitch and then you find you know you kind of meet them in person they are like most likely the same because streaming live especially for a longer time you're not able to create a different personality but on YouTube you are basically very free to create your own personality and I think this goes hand in hand like doing these kind of scripts and, and creating a personality that you are just not yourself um, 
might work out for some people and I don't even want to, you know, I don't want to want to judge it. I just want to say that I don't like this because for me it doesn't feel natural and I feel like I can distinguish it um, and, and I don't want to transmit this to you. Like, yes, English is not my, my first language, but um, I, I, you know, potentially in every video, like 50% of what I say is maybe not perfect and also maybe grammar wise or whatever, not correct. I barely even believe that people would not understand me because of that. So I think people do understand me quite well. Um, sometimes if people don't understand me, it's maybe not even because of the language. It's just because I said some confusing shit, which is totally fine because that's how I am in real life as well. I might just say some weird shit here and there. It's, it's fine. You know, everyone does it uh, at, at times. So that's just the way it is. Um, I just want to use this opportunity and, and the audience I have right now to really um, tell you again that I am convinced that this is the this is the content I want to create for you guys. I throughoutly enjoy this to make videos. I, I really do enjoy it. I love it. I love all the interaction with you guys. I love being in contact with so many, uh, so many awesome people like the Lady Designer, Silverette, and, and all the others, obviously. I don't want to miss out. SP Ridley, for example, who I do know for such a long time. Aston Wolf as well, as well and, you know, Bo, Shante, the Frontier guys, and everyone else. Um, also the ones I, I met recently, like Abasa, Rentammer, it's Colo, and all these awesome people it's i'm it, it, i'm just crazily gifted to to just be here and experience that I, I totally feel like it's wrong to create another personality to do something like that including making a script for my videos um and yes, I could potentially, and this is this is a fair point here, I could potentially go in and, and calm down a little bit. I think I did this with this video um, to just make sure that you guys do understand a bit better what I'm talking about. I try to be a bit slower and, you know, just reorganize my thoughts a little bit better before I push them out to you. However, um, again, like a little bit of an inside info here. I don't know, you know, many people don't know it. I made a video in the past how a YouTube video is created, but most likely um, my voice recordings are not very very, like I'm not doing them right after my recording. I'm doing them most likely maybe next day, maybe even two days later. It always depends a little bit on when I have the time. So most likely when I turn off the computer and the game, I'm so freaking tired that I just go to bed. Because if I would record that time, uh, who God knows w what this kind of video would be like. Uh, because yeah, you know, it's I, I just need to uh, relax a little bit first of all, have some sleep, and then uh, next day with a f with a clear mind, it's most likely more easy to do it. However, I'm most likely also, and let's say most likely for once more, because I didn't say that enough. Um, <laughs> I do this. Um, after work, after my actual work, um, maybe even later after I've spent a good evening with my wife or whatever, um, I, I just think um, that this also pays into that I have, you know, different influences over the course of the day um, that go into the video and I, I just don't want to leave that out because that's me, that's part of my personality and um, that's what I want to, you know, give you. So today, for example, that the big influence why I am doing this kind of uh, more in-depth talk about my, my feelings about not doing scripts um, is, is down to the fact that I had a good talk with another professor of a university uh, which I'm going to in, 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 in some weeks to, to get some um, lessons for, for the students um, and just bringing, bringing them a little bit closer uh, what, what we have done uh, in our agency regarding uh, people's habit and, and how um, psychology is important in advertisement and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it. Um, but enough of that talk. We are like even halfway through this episode. So as a little uh, bonbon, I want to say, like, like a little treat, at the end of the video there is some good in-game footage of a grizzly bear walking this um, habit of, uh, habitat over here. And um, I do know that you guys cannot believe this will be done by the end of this episode because we are already halfway in, aren't we? And yes, I couldn't believe this either, but... It's a perfect example how I work. So you've been seeing me slapping a lot of these stones and I want to compare this with Minecraft. It's basically like preparing a huge ass build. Uh, we are just like slapping some dirt for a good amount of hours before you can finally start the build. You just need to make sure that you have the basis done. And exactly this is what I'm doing here. I needed to create a basis for me. Um, unfortunately, I would, I would have loved to make this rock out of um, the normal terrain. The problem about this is that the terrain in this scenario is very well Indian so there is no kind of grayish rock and the, the only rock available is pretty red so it's it's not really great for a northern kind of themed winter um, winter dome 
So I needed to use the rocks that are available, and it's always a little bit difficult in Planet Coaster, uh, Planet Zoo, sorry, I'm already too much into the planet uh, thing. It's very complicated in Planet Zoo to um, blend the rocks together so they look naturally. Like, it, it, they do already look a lot better than in uh, Planet Coaster, so it's way easier to blend them together with the terrain. However, it's still not easy to create a somewhat nice transition to um, make it really look like as if it would be some proper um, yeah, natural looking um, terrain. So th the only advantage is that this obviously is not a natural looking, um, you know, mountain at all. It is an artificially created one and I think there's no doubt about it that any zoo in the world that would make this freaking winter dome in an area, in a hot area like that would definitely not do a, an actual a mountain. They would definitely have an artificial one. So that might be the only reason why the kind of stuff I'm doing here is not even that far off real. Um, as, as it might just look like but I think it's always the same about my progress in my builds at the beginning it always looks super weird it always looks very confusing and the thing is I do have a plan in my mind already like there is a picture in my head I unfortunately I can't share this with you during the process it's a bit hard because I would need to have like a projector that is beaming my thoughts towards the white wall so you can see it um, but even then you might not kind of see what I am actually thinking because it's so weird. <laughs> um, I know and what I was actually convinced about is that with some foliage in the end it will look a lot better and um, I knew this because I've done like many builds already in Planet Coaster and I, I kind of you know I kind of knew about some techniques to blend stuff better together like how to use the foliage to make sure that um, some portions of the build look better than others and, and just use the pieces to my advantage to just cover some of the ugly edges, make sure that some of the, the bushes and foliage create a certain... Um, yeah, as you can see over here, they ba basically create a certain... It's almost like putting a glue in between some stuff and, and making sure that the glue keeps them not only together but also creates like a little bit of a security layer in between. And you can really see now it is really starting to look like something. Uh, and in the end, it really looks absolutely gorgeous. And it looks like what it should have looked like uh, from the very beginning. But again, as I said, it's really hard to do this from the get-go. Uh, you really need to find some some good moments to start with and as you can see I'm just filling in some of the gaps over here where I feel like it's looking the most unnatural um, with some rocks and some boulders and stuff like that and then also with some foliage uh, that makes the whole thing look a lot better yeah as you can see um, as you can have what as you can see I also planned a little bit ahead of where I want to have the stuff pathing path so the stuff pathing path is actually pretty nicely hidden away in this dome so that the stuff is really you know um, fortunate and has a good and easy way to reach all the habits, uh, habitats. What I mean, uh, they have a good habit in reaching the habitats. That's what I wanted to say. Um, and funny enough, like this story, like how I I approach things. It started already in elementary school. When I do remember, it's pretty funny though. It's a little bit of a very funny story actually. So when I um, had my first days at elementary school, you do kind of this test where they do test you. Um, if you are, I think it's basically also testing if you are some kind of disabled uh, person. I don't even know how exactly this is, but uh, it almost feels like they test um, your abilities to see if you can go in the normal class or if they have to do put you in a special class. I don't even know if it's exactly this, but I needed to do some tests and one of those tests was like drawing a picture. And back then I was a huge Disney fan and so I drew a Mickey Mouse. Um, funny enough, I started with the hat and Maybe for you it, it sounds totally logic, but back then um, this this doctor um, She was actually like oh god. We got an issue like why is he starting like why is he starting with the head? That makes no sense because he needs to start with the feet So he gets some ideas of the proportions and stuff I have to say though uh, that the picture in the end was perfect the proportions were perfect and stuff And I just started because I had the idea about how the Mickey should look like from the beginning so I started with what I've found is the most logical thing to start with and and um, gave me the the easiest entry and I have to say the cool thing that was that then the director of the school just came in he was looking at it and was like um, telling the doctor to shut up and basically say like um, he doesn't believe that this is a, a, a you know a not normal behavior he's like it's a, a totally fine and you know but this is kind of funny because people if it's not in their norm they already believe you must be different but you're not if you're creative and your mind functions a little bit different that's fine as long as you know how it does it's all fine as you can deal with it it's it's, it's totally you know it's totally unique and fine so be 
don't be just discouraged if, if if you feel like your way of thinking might be weird. If you get to the target, if if you get to something, that's totally fine. Nobody asks in the end how you, you did it, except those really stiff, weird school people that do want to see the way you, you got. Anyways, um, we are at the end of the episode. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this um, next step of our indoor um Habitat. Here's uh, some more uh, screenshots um, of the wonderful area. Uh, you can see I dropped down again the dome so you can finally see how it looks like with uh, uh, the final building around. We do still need to make the, the roof in the next episode. And here you can see the grizzly moving around. I also managed to yeah, just use most of it and uh, the grizzly is actually able to, to run most of it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it looks really, really awesome. We also got a wife uh, for this lovely grizzly. So hoping to get some babies in the future. And yeah, it's just looking very nice. It's very happy in that dome. There's nothing missing for the animal. And uh, uh, he's very, very fortunate to live in that winter dome. And yeah, as you can see, it's, it's looking pretty cool. And the next episode, which will be dropping tomorrow, potentially, um, um, I will be giving you also a real-time overview, but for now, that's it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below how you like this build. How is your approach on, on doing builds? Uh, what are you starting with? I'd be very interested in this while we see Baloo uh, scratching its back on this wonderful thing. Anyways, guys, have a good time. See you next time and bye. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time, bye guys.